Hello and welcome to Box Tips episode number two. Today we're going to talk about how to find inspiration for songs and how to beat writer's block. I love writing lyrics and telling stories with my songs, but sometimes the ideas get stuck and the words refuse to flow. So today I'm going to tell you four ways that you can help beat writer's block. Tip number one, free writing. So I've been working on a new song called Shipwreck Off The Coast for a little while now. And we've had the musical side of it written for a few months, but the lyrics are proving quite tricky as I didn't have a solid idea. I knew I wanted the subject of the song to either be about a holiday or a summertime as the music is very laid back. But other than that, I didn't really have much of a story to put to the music. I sat down twice to formulate some ideas, but really didn't get anywhere with trying to find what I wanted to tell with this story. So for my third attempt at this, I tried some free writing. So how I do this is I play the song on loop and then I sit there with my eyes closed and I just write down any words, imagery, ideas that come to mind while the song's playing. And at this point, they don't have to relate to each other or be coherent sentences. Um, all I'm doing is just trying to generate ideas from feelings and things that I get from the musical side of the song. So after I did this for Shipwreck Off The Coast, I had a list of 14 things that I had written down. So after looking at these ideas, I went through and actually I could see how some of the ideas could be put together to form a song and tell a story. This technique might not work for every song. If you've tried some other ideas and it's not working, this is definitely a good way just to try and eke something out of your brain if you're getting stuck. Tip number two, be observant. Even the littlest things can generate an idea. There's so much going on around us that it's really easy for us to miss the little details. And generally it's the little details that really make an idea or a song interesting. So here's another story for you. Around Christmas time, I was on my way out to a gig and this was kind of early evening, about eight or nine o'clock, and I walked past a haberdashery shop. For some reason, I paid more attention to the haberdashery shop than I would normally and I noticed that all the lights were on, there was people in there shopping and buying cloth and sewing gear at that time of night and it made me really confused as to why this was the case. So after being confused I was thinking why is this shop open so late? Why are there people in there buying haberdashery things? Um, who would open a linen shop at nine o'clock at night? And I had all these questions and didn't know what to do with them. So after mulling this over for a little while, a sentence popped into my head, which was 24 hour linen shop. And for some reason that sentence really stuck with me and it just called out to be a song. What led to the circumstances of this person running a linen shop and keeping it open for 24 hours? Eventually after kind of thinking about that and forming some ideas, I had a pretty solid song about the woman who owns this shop and the background story and all this kind of thing. There's a song right there, literally just from walking past a shop and noticing that it was open and that was people shopping. Tip number three, write what you know. So this gets said a lot, but it is true. If there's something that you're interested in or you're deeply passionate about, you're gonna find it a lot easier to write uh, a meaningful song about that instead of just picking a topic at random and thinking, all right, I'm gonna write a song about that today. There's a lot to be said about writing about how you feel, about uh, situations you can't change, about particular feelings you have, like anger or happiness or excitement, all these kinds of things. If there's something that you're interested in or you love, try exploring it, try framing it from a different angle or presenting it in a kind of crazy, unique way. Writing about something that you truly find interesting and that means something to you will produce a much better song and a song that more people can relate to. Tip number four, dictionaries. Woo! Woo for dictionaries! So when I'm writing, I have quite a detailed process and most of my time is taken up in the planning stage. And again, most of that time is taken up with reading dictionaries, specifically rhyming dictionaries. Like this one here, this is my one, and I've had it for years, and I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of pages falling out at the back, and it's all a bit grubby and pages folded over. It is a workhorse, and I don't think I could write a song without it. 
So when I'm generating ideas for a song, I might have some keywords that I know I definitely want to include in the song. So once I've got those, my next step is to find words that rhyme with them. When I'm looking through my dictionary, certain words will stick out to me and form an idea or go off on a tangent. When I'm looking through, I want to pick out maybe 10 or so different words and different types of rhyme for my keyword so that when it comes to actually writing the song, each one of those rhyming words could take the song on a slightly different path. So you've got essentially 10 different ideas of where the song could go with each rhyme of each keyword. Give you a quick example of that. I've just randomly looked up a word in my dictionary and that word is, what is it? It is fawn. So I've found the section for the uh, rhyme for awn and if I go through some of these words, I'll try and show you what I mean. So if you've got fawn, you've then got born. So your song could go into, okay, there's a fawn being born. Or there you've got fawn and you've got lawn. So then you can have like, there's a fawn on the lawn, which is kind of a different idea. Next, we've got mourn. So the fawn could be mourning the death of its mother. We've got shorn. So somebody could have shaved the fawn. But you see where I'm going with this. Each one of them could have taken you down like a completely different uh, path for your song. So when you've got 10 keywords and you've got 10 rhymes for 10 keywords, that's a lot of options you have for kind of choosing which path your song is going to take. So what I just showed you there was just very simple, perfect rhymes where it's really obvious that the word rhymed with fawn. And you won't necessarily always want to do that. I mean, I could do a whole video on rhyming schemes and different types of songwriting, but that was literally just an example so that you got the idea of what I was talking about with the keywords and the rhymes. There we go. That's four ways I find inspiration and keep the songwriting ideas flowing. If you have ideas of your own or if you have ways that help you, please leave them in the comments below. And if you did like this video, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and we'll see you soon.